Hard to believe, but we're already up to podcast number 58. This has two different trig functions in it, a sine and a cosine, and I need to get one trig function in there. So somehow I'm probably going to be end up using cosine squared plus sine squared equals one. But in order to get the squares, what I need to do is first square both sides. So on the left side, you would need to square the cosine. For the middle term, you multiply these two and then double the result. So it would be three cosine x and then double that. So that's six cosine x. And then square the three. So that's a nine. On the right side, square the four and also square the sine. Now notice over here, everything has cosine, well, other than the nine, but cosine is dominant. So we should be working with cosines. So we'll need to eliminate this sine. That's where we're gonna be using this. Sine squared equals one minus cosine squared. So replace the sine squared with one minus cosine squared. And for now, the left side stays the same. On the right side, multiply this out, so it's 16 minus 16 cosine squared. And then we need to move everything to one side. So I'm gonna put everything on the left side. So that means I need to add 16, add 16 cosine squared. and then also subtract 16. So the right side will just have zero. The left side has 17 cosine squared plus six cosine, and then this would be minus seven. So most likely this does not factor. It's time to use the quadratic formula. So that would go cosine of x equals negative of the b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times the a times the c, all divided by 2 times the a. Let's see, how much is inside the square root? So inside the square root, that would be 36. And then this would be a negative times negative, so that's positive. 4 times 17 times 7. So there's 512 inside the radical. Negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 512 is divided by 34. Now it's time to get the two decimal answers for that expression. So I need parentheses and then negative six plus the square root of 512. Parentheses, that gets divided by 34. So that means cosine of x equals a point four eighty nine. Now do the same thing when the quadratic formula has subtract right here. And it's cosine of x equals negative 0.842. So for this one, it's saying look at the cosine graph. And then when does it equal a 0.489? And when you go across, there's two answers. This first one we can get from using cosine inverse on the calculator. 
So take cosine inverse of a point 489, and that equals 1.06. Since 2 pi is right here, this one is to the left of 2 pi. So that would be 2 pi minus 1.06. or in other words, 5.223. Then move on to this one. So here's the cosine graph, and then here's negative 0.842. Go across, and there's two solutions. So take cosine inverse of negative 0.842 and so this one would be 2.572 and again this would be 2 pi so this one's to the left of 2 pi so it'll be 2 pi minus 2.572 So 3.711. Okay. So I get 1.06. Next would be, I'm going to put them in order. Next is 2.572. Next would be 3.711. And last would be 5. 0.233. But wait, don't leave yet. We still need to verify, see if those are right. So I need to go back and graph the original function. So I need to change my calculator out of parametric back to regular functions. And before we squared it, it said cosine of x plus 3. And the other one is 4 sine of x. Now change the window to go from 0 to 2 pi. That's what the direction said, right? Yes. And then, let's see, that could get as big as 4. That could get as big as 4. So maybe if we go from negative 4 to 4 on the y's, we'll be able to see it. There's one intersection. There's two, and um, yeah, well, there's only two answers. One, two. We got four answers. So which answers do we keep and which answers do we throw away? So Trace, what about 1.06? Yes, that one is a keeper. What about 2.572? Yep, that's a keeper. 3.711? No, they don't intersect there. Goodbye, 3.711. And 5.233? Nope, they don't intersect there. The reason we got extra solutions is because we squared both sides. When you square both sides, that can give you extra solutions which aren't actually a part of the final answer. So from this one, it was just the first answer on this one and the first answer on this one. So only these two are keepers, the other throw them back in the ocean.